Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you a little bit about spatial awareness around your blades in sledge hockey. So many times you'll be into a scrum or trying to receive a pass and the puck gets lost beneath you. And unlike stand-up hockey where you can kind of like just skate backwards or move your body position to find the puck, here we're try sometimes lost trying to find that. So what I want you to do is start thinking about how can I learn where my blades are in relation to my body and my sled. So one of the first things I want you to do is just take your sticks and you can either lay it up flat like this or down and put it again at the back and so now you have a visual of where your blades are underneath of your bum right and so now I know that if I'm stick handling the puck I have I know that I have about to this point before I'm gonna hit my blades and my pucks not gonna go underneath but I can come this close see I'm, I'm coming pretty close there and it's just getting a, getting a feel for where your blades are under your sled. And then when you get lost, if you can't, if you're in a scrum and you can't find the puck just by like, just by doing this and the puck bounces out, you know that it's hitting your blades, right? So if the puck's hitting your blades, you can do one, a couple things, right? Just move your body position, get it out. Or I don't want to get too advanced with some drills here, but start working the puck in different areas behind you you can try passing it. <laughs> I'm not really doing it right now because I'm trying to do it slow. But um, pull the puck back, move it around, and then you're just gonna push your puck up with the backhand of your stick. And then spend some time just working around your blades so that when you're playing with the puck below there, you're familiar with where it, where it is and you're not lost, you're not getting caught with your head down, setting yourself up for a bad hit and it's going to help you keep the plane moving a lot faster as well. So just by taking a little bit of time to practice with the area of your blades around underneath of you, and if you haven't seen another video, the same thing with the front of your sled, like recognizing where the skag is on the front of your sled, you start to develop some better spatial awareness, which is going to allow you to find the puck faster and uh, get yourself back into play. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. It means the world to me if you could leave a comment below. Please tell me what we could do differently. Any ideas for a future video. We're all putting out content every single week here to educate people and let people know more about how to play the sport of sledge hockey. So please hit subscribe here on YouTube. And if you would like to learn more, visit PlaySledgeHockey.com.